Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome to yet another video tutorial brought to you by MeshMinds Creative Learning. In, the, in this video tutorial, we are going to try to model a car which we will be uh, using for CFD analysis later on. So, uh, designing a car is one of the most complex things that you can think of uh, using SOLIDWORKS. But uh, SOLIDWORKS has got a really cool feature which is called as uh, Sketch from Picture. Uh, which enables uh, us to just trace the outline of a car on top of um, the picture which we are going to uh, download from Google. Okay, so that's how we are going to do and uh, let us uh, uh, get on uh, with uh, Google to search for the image that we want. Okay, so right now I'm on the uh, Google search page and you can just uh, type in any car that you want. So I'm just typing in as BMW 5 Series um, drawing. Okay. Let me just uh, uh, type this as the keyword and I'm going to images and uh, normally try to go to this uh, website which is the blueprints.com. So here you can find uh, the uh, outlays of uh, so many vehicles, all the vehicles that you precisely want. Okay, And then just click on download full size image. So it will sometimes ask you for a login or just click on download image so that the normal size of the image comes out here okay there you go so so now that uh, we have downloaded the downloaded the image that we want let us now see how to make use of this uh, picture in order to sketch uh, the car model that we need okay so uh, let us start by creating a new part so i go to find new and say part that's pretty uh, similar to what we do for any part modeling and make sure the units are going to be in mmgs and uh, then what we need to do is we need to select uh, the front plane and click sketch okay which means we're going to create a new sketch on the front plane and uh, once that is done now uh, what we now need to do is we need to go to tools uh, and go to sketch tools and click sketch picture option here that you can see here right so click on sketch picture so now it takes you to the uh, search uh, place so you just need to search whichever is the file name so here you can see the image uh, that um, we are going to use so i'll also put this up in the uh, description the link for this in the description also uh, so this is going to be a gif image which is uh, going to be the uh, picture which we are going to trace on okay and just click on open now if you can see we just need this profile of the car for uh, the cfd analysis right we just need to have the outline of the car such that the rake angles and the front rake and the rear rake uh, angles are properly captured. We don't need any other uh, um, any other dimensions, and so we're just going to focus on this part. So now, if you can see, the pointer um, is indicating like a plus sign that you can see, which means you can drag this picture in order to position it. If you can see that the origin of the sketch is here, so I'm just going to drag this image a little down, right, such that the road which is the horizontal line falls on the origin and it is going to be placed something like this there you go right so this looks pretty good and once you have properly positioned you can uh, click the tick mark so that you can come out of the positioning and then uh, tick uh, this one here to come out of the sketch right so the first sketch is created uh, in this process the first sketch is technically the picture that you have imported and placed it in the right position now what you need to do is again right click on front plane and click sketch okay so now you are ready to trace a line onto this uh, image that you have placed okay let us see how to do that so just push this aside just zoom in fairly well so that uh, uh, it looks pretty comfortable for you to sketch now go on the spline tool and uh, start creating a spline from uh, from the uh, front bonnet here and uh, just trace it roughly something like this okay you can use different uh, sections you can use multiple sections like this multiple sections of the spline and then you can uh, position this spline however you want uh, yeah this looks pretty good now I'm moving towards the front windshield like this and then position the uh, position the spline with the spline handles and just do the same in all the places right just zoom in a bit 
place it like this. It's always advisable to have a single line and then use the spline handle, single spline line and then use the spine, uh, spline handles to position it. Gently that will make your job a little easier. And uh, now from here to this portion and uh, just drag it and uh, superimpose it onto the uh, sketch. Okay, this looks pretty good. And I will always advise you to uh, keep this line as a straight line primarily because if you're going to add any add-on device like a wing or a spoiler later on and do some CFT analysis on that, then it will be very easy for you to uh, make use of this position, this place near the trunk if it is going to be a straight line. Right. So what I'm trying to say is if you use it as a spline, you will not have the option of uh, creating a sketch on top of it right? because it's not going to be a straight line. That's the reason why I'm trying to do that. Okay, So I'll use a straight line instead of a spine for this section alone and I'll just draw something like this. So it really needn't be very accurate right? because uh, you know that for a CFD analysis we more often than not tend to neglect all the important, uh, um, we tend to neglect all the unimportant uh, features like uh, the uh, door cuts, door trims and the mirrors and um, all those things. So we just need to have the outline of the car and now I'm going to draw the bottom section. You can see this plane handle has ended here. So let me just uh, draw something like this for the bottom portion. There you go. And just pull this now. This looks good. And now let me just use this plane command again. So at this point in time, don't worry about the wheel. Uh, we will be cutting the wheel section out later on. Once the sketching is done, once the uh, once the outline is done, we can uh, easily cut the wheel section out. So we'll focus that later on. So at this point in time, all that we need is just this profile that we are drawing. Yeah. There you go. So this is purely uh, your skill of uh, using this spline command, right? What you're doing is just you're just uh, creating an outline, and you're just superimposing it onto this uh, sketch which is already there, which you have imported from Google. So this really simplifies the geometry and saves a lot of time for you. And here as well, we are not uh, very uh, pertinent about this cut here. If you are interested you can do that but otherwise you can just leave it like this okay you can just create or you can even draw something like this or what you can do is instead of even doing that you can just uh, draw a spline like this you know and just try to make it a little curved round there you go so this looks pretty good or if you are really uh, pertinent, if you are really interested in uh, getting this feature cut out, you can do that as well. Uh, there is no stopping. Okay. So you can just do like this and uh, join these two lines with the spline and then curve fit it. Something like this. There you go. So this looks pretty good and if you tick, you will come out of the sp uh, spline. Now if you can see, we have uh, made a nice smooth uh, spline we have just chased the spline onto it right okay so this looks pretty good and uh, now we can just extrude it in order to know how much to extrude let us uh, worry about the scaling okay it's now time for us to think about the scaling so now if you can see the total length of the vehicle it is 4841 but uh, we have drawn it to probably just this length right which is about 420 right so that is going to be the scale. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that now because we're going to extrude it, you can see that the width of the car is 1496 millimeters. Okay, but uh, if I can just draw a line onto this itself, maybe from here to here. Okay, and if I go to smart dimension and check how long this line is, so it is going to be 135.8. Right, that is going to be the width of extrusion. So I'll go to features and click on extruded boss base. And now you can uh, go to mid plane and say uh, 138. There you go. Then click OK. Now, if you can see, now uh, you've got the profile of the car, which is very much exactly what it is 
in the picture right so now if you can see um, we have extruded to it extruded it to about 138 mm uh, which is about let's say 1380 uh, centimeter I mean like 138 millimeters but in reality it is about 1500 uh, millimeters right so the scale is about uh, let's say 1 is to 10 or maybe even a little smaller so that is going to be the scale of our model okay so once this is done what you can do is uh, if you wish you can cut the wheel section out uh, from here I'll show you how to do that as well so this is done now so we are going to use the extrude command uh, to draw the wheel section so again, we'll go to front plane and uh, click on sketch. I click here and say normal to. And now we need to see where the wheel arc is so that you can uh, create a create a circle there and uh, cut it out. Right. So what you can do is you can right click on boss base extrude and click hide so that you can see the sketch. Uh, you can see the image back. Right. Now go to circle and uh, the wheel center is somewhere here and you can just draw a rough circle. Something like this. There you go. This looks pretty good and uh, just do the same for the rear wheel as well okay so this is going to be the wheel center and the wheel arc is somewhere here or maybe here probably yeah we just draw that okay now what we can do is we can go to features and we need to create an extruded cut right so before that let us see how much to extrude we need to extrude it to this depth which is the wheel depth okay so I click here uh, I mean go to sketch and uh, draw a line like this onto this line onto this wheel and uh, click on smart dimension to see it is so it is about 20.56 millimeters right so i'll go to features click on extrude cut no uh, i'm sorry it should not be features extrude cut i'm sorry the reason is because we are drawing it on the front plane so you just create the sketch and click on ok right right click here again and uh, say show now you have got the sketch onto the front plane here you just need to superimpose it onto this face right so select this face here and say sketch and um, just select these two sketches here I mean these two profiles which is just uh, sketch 3 basically and click on convert entities you can see now those uh, uh, circles have been projected onto this face right and now what you can do is you can go to features extrude cut and uh, you can uh, extrude it to about 21 millimeters then click ok now you can see now can you see that wheel arch so this looks pretty good and now what you can do is you can just use the uh, mirror command to get the wheels on the right side as well okay so the mirror face is going to be the front plane and the features to mirror is going to be this extrude okay then click ok there you go now you can see that the profile of the car is perfectly created and you can right click on sketch one and say hide to hide it out and you can even right click on sketch three and say hide perfect now your uh, sedan model is ready and now you can see that this face is a flat face right so what you can do is you can select here and uh, you can create any sketch you can even use this flat face to create any sketch in order to create some um, additional add-on uh, devices like a vertex generator for which you can select this face and say this face is not flat of course uh, so if you wish you can even make this roof flat so you should be smart enough to identify what are the places where you are probably going to have an add-on device later on and based on that you need to create the sketch wherever you want it flat use a straight line instead of this plane okay. so that is pretty much about uh, how you can create a simple car <coughs> using the sketch tools option and um, uh, you can create such simplified geometries which can uh, be later used for CFD simulations so that's the end of the lecture and thanks for watching the video guys